Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to be going over measurement and units. Now I realize that this isn't the most interesting topic but it is one of the most important especially in science. The practice of chemistry in all science demands both accuracy and clarity. So properties of matter which is studied by chemistry must be measured correctly and reported unambiguously. So therefore, all measurements must be reported in a way that allows for other scientists to judge the validity of the experiments. In other words, if we're not speaking the same language, then we're not going to be able to communicate with each other, and therefore, science is not going to progress. So therefore, measurement is always reported as a value. And what that means is it's a quantitative description with a number and a unit. So we're basically measuring quantities of things. So we use measurements, we use measuring tools to get a quantity and report that with a unit. And so what we mean by a unit is really important here. And so a unit of measurement is a quantity that's defined by standards. So who sets up these standards? Well, the scientific community does. And so then we use those standards so that way we can speak and understand each other and, uh, present our data and our experiments and other people can understand what we're talking about. So in the past, when we're talking about units, the unit was based on a body part of some sort, right? So for example, if I wanted to know how high a horse was or how tall a horse was, well, I would talk about how, how, how many hands high it would be, right? So therefore we're measuring by the actual hand of a person. Or if we wanted to measure a table, we might use the foot, right? So we, if I wanted a carpenter to build a table of some sort, then I would tell the carpenter how many feet and he would use his foot or my foot to measure the dimensions of the table and go ahead and build it. Now, those, the use of body parts was okay and uh, useful for the purposes of whatever was being built. But in science, um, we need as the uh, tools we use, the measuring instruments we use got better and more precise and accurate. Um, the measurements needed to be standardized so that way we can again communicate with each other and report accurately what we are uh, investigating. So now we have what is called the metric system that was developed by the French. And so the metric system as the name implies is based on the meter. And the unit of meter was uh, used to be uh, based on uh, the 10 millionth, uh, the uh, distant 10 millionth of the distance measured from the North Pole to the equator. But nowadays, the uh, definition of a meter is more uh, based on the speed of light. It's the, it's the distance that light travels in a vacuum in a given uh, fraction of a second or a given amount of time. Right. So that is the definition of a meter these days. And so the metric system nowadays is uh, what we use in science. And we use that metric system to uh, report our values to other people. So that way they can check our uh, data. They can check our experiments. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this interesting and insightful. If you like this video, if you like all my videos, you like my channel, please, by all means, hit the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified by other videos I put out, and hit that uh, all button. And finally, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below in the description section. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining me, and have a